How's it going? Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Guardian Wrap's Not So Quick Tips. Today we'll show you how to approach wrapping the roof of a 2016 Scion FRS. Just a heads up, we don't show how to remove the antenna in this video because there are plenty of videos on YouTube that do a great job of showing how to remove it. Here are the tools and supplies you'll need and they will be listed in the description of this video. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is remove anything that could be in the way before we wrap the roof. In this case, we're going to start with the roof rails followed by the antenna. Make sure you're using a nylon trim removal tool, that way you don't mess up the paint when you're trying to remove the rain rail. And at this time, you're going to want to work on removing the antenna to get that out of the way. At this point, we start pre-cleaning the roof using some soap and water and a clay bar, in this case a clay rag, to help remove any contaminants from the roof. Now we're going to do another pre-clean except this time using 70% alcohol and a new microfiber cloth and making sure to get in between all the seals of where we're going to be tucking the vinyl. From there you'll want to go ahead and tape the edge of the glass to help prevent the vinyl from sticking to it giving you a guide to cut on which makes it a little bit easier to tuck the vinyl in. Go ahead and measure the roof to see how much vinyl you will need, giving yourself about 2 to 3 inches of bleed. Go ahead and cut the vinyl that we need, taking care not to let the vinyl touch the ground, as to not attract any dirt that we don't want. I like to roll the vinyl side in, this way when I put the vinyl on the panel, in this case the roof, it's a lot easier to unroll. Now once the vinyl's on the roof, I like to go ahead and cut off any excess that could be around the car, leaving yourself about 2-3 to three inches all around. Now go ahead and pull the vinyl away from the backing paper, giving yourself a generous amount, rolling the backing paper underneath. Now remove the backing paper from underneath the vinyl. This helps prevent any dirt from falling on the surface that we obviously don't want. This allows us to set up for glassing the vinyl, which is basically smoothing it out before we start squeegeeing it down. Now you can go ahead and squeegee the center of the roof, which gives you an anchor for us to start glassing. You want to go ahead and start at one corner, pulling the vinyl to that corner, which allows us to smooth it out. In this case, we're not using heat because this is Avery Denison, which is a very pliable material, which allows us to pull it cold. Once you pull to a corner though, you can go back to the center and basically smoothen out the sides, which is basically what everything is setting you up for to make it a lot easier. Now that the roof is glassed, you can go ahead and start squeegeeing, making sure you go from the center out and doing overlapping strokes. This helps prevent you from getting any creases and makes it easier to lift the vinyl in case you need to reposition it. As you can see, I'm using the 30 degree blade and cutting along the impression of the tape. Now when you're cutting out the rain channel, you want to use the car body as your guide, but be cautious because you do not want to damage the paint. Now every car is going to be different, but in the case of the FRS, you can use the glass as a guide to cut off any excess vinyl. Now you're going to go ahead and take the tucking tool and your squeegee and you're going to use the tucking tool to pull the seal back which allows you to use the squeegee to tuck the vinyl in behind it. So now I like to use my hand with the wrap glove to roll the edge of the vinyl into the rain channel. 
This helps prevent any overstretching in the recess. It allows it to go down smoothly without creases. Once that's done, you can go ahead and cut around the rain channel clip and using a squeegee, you can tuck the vinyl down behind it. Here's a close-up of how I tuck the vinyl behind the seal on the front windshield using the tucking tool and the squeegee. And now, the heat gun. Now we want to go ahead and use the heat gun to relax the vinyl. And you want to go ahead and only do this for about 2-3 to three seconds per area and about 3 or 4 inches away from the vinyl. Now we're going to go ahead and take care of the final details by first removing the tape because we don't need that anymore and then cutting out the antenna hole this way we can reinstall the antenna followed by reinstalling the rain rails. Now just go ahead and use your favorite spray detailer or vinyl specific cleaning product and that's it. You are wrapped the roof of a Scion FRS. We hope you enjoyed today's episode of Guardian Wrap's Not So Quick Tips. Make sure to check out our social media or shoot us an email for all your final wrapping needs and we'll see you next time.